guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. I just wanted to do a quick video going over the uh, Easy LR Goku, Trunks, and Pan again. Uh, this is a character that just came out on Global Dokkan to strengthen um, Dokkan Fest Pan's Team M. It, it can be fairly effective doing that, right? Um, the thing about this character is is going to activate the strongest parts of Pan's kit, which is her guaranteed additional, but more so... This character can activate uh, using Dokkan Fest Pan's active skill, right? She does need a GT Goku. This character will activate that, which can be fairly good. Now, I do think this unit is pretty good. Um, I, I, I feel like they're, you know, sort of like vaguely like LR physical cell level. Like, that's the character that like sort of comes to mind for me. I think after this character, you know, this Goku Chunks and Pan, they get a couple of super attacks in. Their defense can be relatively solid, right? Um, you know, to the point where... You can run this character against the really difficult tech bosses in Red Zone, right? I, I do think they are good enough to go into these Red Zone fights, you know, or Cell Max, right? You can go into the set. This unit is, a, I think, a good unit for Cell Max. Um, tech Full Power Frieza, Tech Bojack, right? These really tough fights, this character can be good in, which, which is good, right? Like, at least having extra help for some of these stages it can be good. Um, Pan, I think really needs a dominant GT Goku. I'm talking like, you know, top five in the game level, and that would help pan out so much. If you had a GT Goku that you could just, you know, run out, trot out to every single red zone fight, I think it would be monstrous um, for Pan to be able to do that, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we're going to do here. Um, this is a character that's going to get a lot of buffs. We, of course, are on Pan's team. Because we're going to get a 200% leader skill here on Pan's team. Let's actually put uh, Trunks and Gear on slot 1. We could hit this. So this is an overly support rotation right here. We have 6 out of 7 links active. Only legendary power is not up. Um, we have Saiyan Warrior Race. Saiyan Lineage. Uh, solid support. GT. Prepare for battle and shattering the limit. All activated. This is an insane amount of support on this rotation. What is this? Like 120% support? We're getting between Trunks and Giru and the Gohan. So, uh, needless to say, it's a huge amount of support we're getting right here. Um, now, Goku, Trunks, and Pan, they get 77% defense when they do their super attack. Um, and then they get 33% defense with every super attack they do also. Right, both 12 and 18 key supers for them will give them 33% defense. They actually get... Uh, on their 18 key, the 33% defense lasts for three turns. So you do get extra incentive. Okay, 15 million turn one is pretty good, right? I mean, sure, we're wanked up with a lot of support, but, I mean, this is a character that can do damage. Again, there's a reason I said I think this character can help out quite a bit um, in some of these red zone fights, depending, right? They can help out. Um, okay, that's... No oh, no, no, this Vegeta doesn't lower defense. Okay, I don't care. Never mind. Yeah, it, nice double-digit damage. A very strong... Opening rotation, I would say, right there, right? Like, yeah, this character can can put up numbers, right? Definitely something that is useful. Uh, again, for me, um, I, I think that this character is fine. It's just, like, okay, so you look at the celebration for Pan's team, right? You get Pan. Really good. Trunks and Giru is a character that it's like, you know, you want to use them, again, against one of these tough tech red zone bosses. Goku, Trunks, and Pan, again, it's a character you want to use against a tough tech red zone boss. I mean, I guess Chi Lai is on here. Chi Lai you could run against any fight. Um, and then, you know, way in the future, you know, Global, you know, JP just got it or Global get it in the future. Uh, the Dokkan Fest Kid Goku and Android 8 certainly can help Pan's team, but... G I, I think GT Heroes, I, I don't know how many people are aware of this, but GT Heroes, I feel like, has completely fallen off. I think both Pan's team and LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's team feels very subpar to me. Um, and the reason is because GT Heroes has just cratered, I think. So let's go ahead and take a look at GT Hero, right? All the top tier characters. So a problem... LR, uh, Vegeta Jr. and Goku Jr. being a fumble does hurt. That unit should have been better. Um, Pan is fine. I, I, I do think she's good. She just needs GT help. That tech Goku is, like, maybe okay-ish against, like, an EGL red zone boss, sort of. 
right? Trunks and Giru again, we could use against like um, a Tech Red Zone boss. LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is one of the best units in the game still. But then, like, I'm not overly impressed with these guys. These guys have fallen off. This, I mean, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is solid, right? Um, it's like the LR Super Saiyan 4s, I think they're very good if you're using them with type advantage, right? So, like, Goku is good against a strong STR red zone boss. Vegeta against a physical red zone boss. But, like, what you don't have on the GT Hero team right now is characters that you're, like, trotting out to every single fight. And they're always going to be effective. So, GT Hero, it, it's fallen off, right? Like, the, the seventh anniversary of Power Creep has claimed a lot of these characters. It's like, when when LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and this team was popular during the seventh anniversary, we didn't have all these new options scattered to all these teams to where there's way better teams now. This team feels like a joke compared to the much better teams that are out now, right? So, I, I really, really badly want GT help to come out. I think it would be so big. All right, I mean, this might end up just being, like, pretty much our uh, best. Uh, th Dude, th this this might be our best um, turn right here in terms of this. So at 313k, again, remember that you get the, you know, the nice, um, uh, you know, 33% defense for three turns when they do their 18 key super attack, right? It, it just looks really, really good. I, I, I do like this unit, man. Like, I, I can't I can't really hate it. I think that this is an appropriate level for, like, an LR easy in terms of power. Because remember, you know, they're at that, like, 300k defensive stat, right? And it's like, again, they get 77% on super and then 33% with every super attack they do. So they can get to a solid defense level, especially if we get the additional super. They can put in some damage. Now, uh, they do two other extra things. On their 18 key super attack effect, they do lower attack which can be very helpful. And then their, on their 12 key super attack, they can also seal um, the enemy's super attack, right? So, you know, those abilities certainly can be handy, right? Just being able to... Like, I in, in the newest battlefield that's currently out, um, you really want to seal the bosses. In the current... Th this is the Dokkan battlefield that Global has not yet gotten, right? In this Dokkan battlefield, sealing is the strategy. That's, that's the way to go. All these end bosses, there's a, it's um, the Super Saiyan Gohan, Bojack, Super Saiyan Gotenks, Super Buu, and Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Those are the, the last bosses in the battlefield. You want to seal them all. I've liked using this Goku, Trunks, and Pan on my battlefield team, actually, because they can seal. Again, sealing characters currently in battlefield are very, very strong, right? Attack debuffing, of course, can be very helpful um, in the Super Battle Road stages and stuff like that as well. So you do have, like, like abilities that they have that can help them in content besides just, you know, trotting them out into Red Zone. Although, again, usually when we're utilizing characters in Red Zone, um, there you know, that strength will correlate to, to the rest of the game, right? Um, what other abilities should we talk about with this character, right? So let's go ahead and take a look here. So they, Goku Junks, that they're, they're we, you know, that we'd activate the unit super attack with Goku. Um, let's see. So they get 77% defense at the start of turn. Uh, they get 77% attack on their 18 key super. They get one P, one key and 7% attack per Dragon Ball Seeker or GT hero category ally in the team, whichever category has the most. Um, then they get three key and a high chance to crit. If all allies attacking in the same turn are Dragon Ball Seekers or GT Heroes, which of course can be very helpful. So it's like they just can really pour on damage, right? A lot of damage. Um, the way they're built, I feel like just going full additional is probably the way to go. I feel like this will be a pretty good turn right here. So now we'll be able to see them. On this rotation, we have one support type unit as opposed to the multiple we've had on previous turns. Um, but I think that they're putting up some pretty decent stats, actually. Um, this Goku Trunks and Pain, right? Again, I, I, I've been able to utilize them against Cell Max, against Red Zone Bojack and stuff like that. I use them, I believe, a couple of times in my Pan Red Zone Sweep. Maybe I got all those stages done before um, uh, this character had come out, but I, I think they're pretty solid, right? They can put up some uh, decent numbers. All right, um, let's do, uh, I think, maybe one more rotation for them. Um, I would like to get them with the LRB Pan huge buff right there, and then we could finish up. There, of course, is the unit super attack with Pan. Um, she's getting that from the Goku Chunks and Pan, right? Again, getting the Goku portion of the unit super attack up it is just really so big. Um, it's so, so helpful. So, all right.
Yeah, let's just get the um, LRB Pan Active skill, and then we could probably finish up. I mean, we're seeing some of these big numbers, their big defense, their big stats that they could put up. Not bad at all. All right, guys, let's make this the final turn right here. We can get the big damage um, from, you know, we got Trunks and Gear right here. We're going to have, I believe, most links active. We don't have Sane Warrior Race and Prepare for Battle. Those will be the only links we don't have active on this rotation. Um, we'll get the B-Pan buff. Uh, we might have a, a bigger attack set just from when we had the full-on support, since uh, typically when characters are getting their buffs on super attack, right? Um, which this character is getting uh, a 77% attack on their 12, uh, basically on a normal super attack, 12 key super, and then an additional 77% attack if it's an 18 key super. Um, just normal like supports like that, some um, 50% Gohan might give them a little bit more damage. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and see 281k defense right there. Again, remember they get 77% on super attack. And then 33% defense with every super that they do. Maybe one of the only things that potentially could be a problem um, is that, like, if you're floating this character around, they're not going to be able to take advantage of how high their defense potentially could be, right? If you're, you know, keeping them on rotation and then keeping a, a healthy stack up of their 18 key super attack, right? The 33% defense for three turns. Then here they get up to 16.5. Certainly a solid number. I mean, that's, again, like, when you see attack stats, just remember that a character like this that came out in February of 2019 is now capable of dropping 16 million attack stats. And, again, if the entire rotation um, is, like, Dragon Ball Seeker or GT Hero, they have a 50% chance to crit, too. So it's like that unit, you know, it's like 16.5, but they're punching above that number. And it's like knowing that they have a 50% chance to crit, you can just pour all of their stats essentially um into their additional and then you're gonna see them additional supering a lot more often so let me know what you guys think of the lr goku trunks and pan eza character i think they're pretty good um i i actually do like this unit it's just the only issue is not really them like i i think like expecting this unit to have been like way better or something like that just doesn't seem very realistic to me i don't think so right um, they are ridiculously, like, powerful as is. It's just that their team, like, this Pan team or LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's team needs help. They just need more options. I I really do want Dokkan to go back to GT sometime soon. You know, it, it might seem surprising, but there's a lot that they can still do from Dragon Ball GT. So, let me know what you guys think of EZ, LR, Goku, Chunks, and Pan. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.